Welcome to Rhinoch in the Storm, Episode 6, the game that almost wasn't a video, which we'll get to in just a minute. For now, I am playing the Lost Vikings, and for my first talent, I think I'm going to be grabbing Viking Horde. And in this particular game, we've got Vala, Arthas, the Lost Vikings, Sylvanas, and Tyrael versus Falstad, Nazebo, Sylvanas, Vala, and Malfurion. Now, I recorded this about four weeks ago when I first got my new Titan X. And I had what I thought was a really good gaming game going all the way up to the moment when Here is a Storm decided to crash. I have since resolved the issue, but let's just say I was a little upset at the moment and kind of deleted my audio file. Uh, my, my recording file, my voice recording, yeah. So I thought we'd go back. Uh, I've actually been kind of coming down with a sinus infection this week, so hadn't really gotten around to recording anything else. But uh, yeah, so looks like we are going to be soloing the top lane versus Sylvanas. Now one of my strategies with the Lost Vikings, which since I can talk about it a little bit more, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, a lot of players will typically split lanes, which in this game might have been good here early on. Maybe not so. I mean, Tyrael's down the bottom lane right now, so there's there's somebody in each lane, so it doesn't really gain us that much. Um, that would have been a smart time to just send Eric back. Keep in mind, this is about four weeks ago, so... I was still working on some different uh, ways to play the Lost Vikings. Um, my talent selection in this game was a little different than what I would normally grab. Uh, now Sylvanas is going straight for Eric, and so kind of what I'm doing is kiting her around. Now, now she's running off, but she was kind of kiting me around a little bit, or I was kiting her around with Eric while uh, Olaf and Balog just kind of went at her. Now that was an ill-advised charge. I didn't quite realize I was in range. But... She's, she's, she's trying to press in and get, get this back for me, but I don't know that she's going to be able to by herself. Yeah, see, I keep running over there because I think she's going to pour it in. But I think for the most part, she's just kind of doing it to eyeball and see where I'm at. Oh, now she gets Nazebo to help her. Okay. Olaf got stuck and Falstad is there as well. So I'm going to lose almost everybody. I managed to save Balog there, got him far enough away. Need to hearthstone him back to get some health. Collect them all together and kind of see where I need to head. Which for now is back to the top lane so we can get the Sun Shrine. Right now we've got the Moon Shrine. Tyrael and Sylvanas have got it pretty well. Um, Arthas and Vala. One of them could probably come up top to help me out a little bit here, but as it stands right now, they're they're kind of fighting in the center. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna run away from them, see if we can't capture it real quick before they can fight us off. Now, one of the things they're doing wrong here is they they aren't getting on on the platform to start transferring it back, and so it allowed me to be able to hold on to it a little longer than they probably should have allowed. That was. Unfortunately, I was hoping Eric would be able to maybe just get a few shots in, but end up losing them all anyways. Now, one of the things with the Lost Vikings that, you know, kind of ends up happening a lot is there's not a whole lot of downtime. Like, Maybe one guy dies, but usually one's gonna survive, or if or one died earlier in the fight, and so he's gonna come back up before the others. Yeah, Sylvanas went ahead and poured it in there to try and stop me from taking it back. And I'm managing to at least somewhat fight them off here. One ver you know, well, one whole unit versus two. Uh, I ended up letting Eric die, unfortunately. 
had a, I, I did have a lot of deaths. I will say that much. I, it was a good game, but I did have a lot of deaths. I was. Yeah, this is. Yeah, so this is where I was like, hey, I need some help up here. I can't just keep doing this by myself. But it looks like Sylvanas was just running up anyways. Um, so I kind of went to just, okay, I'm going to sit here and grab some XP for now. And I did not see False Dead coming there, unfortunately. I, I was not paying attention to the mini-map. I didn't see him fighting Sylvanas, and so... Okay, here's Arthas coming to help me out some. Oh, maybe. Nope. Nope, he's running back down. False Dead focuses on Eric, which I really should have actually just stayed and fought there. That's unfortunate on my part. I didn't, I didn't realize he was focusing Eric so much. I probably could have kept damaging him with Olaf. So there we go. Sylvanas finally helps take it back. I'm going to cross over and try and watch for anybody coming around. But right here, you know, it's it, two versus one. We, we finally take out Falstad. Oh, that was a cool little bug. His his uh, hammer kind of stuck around. So there, I'm going to run Balog back to get some health while I just keep fighting the uh, turrets for a little bit. And then bring them all back together. Now, uh, probably send Eric down to bottom lane to just start collecting XP. Oh, can we get her? Can we get her? Yes, got her. Okay, cool. It looks like Arthas is going to grab it, so I'm just going to try and hold people away, kind of. And there we go. We got the Viking Longbolt and a able to really start pushing them away, but we lost the, the, the bottom shrine, unfortunately, in that we all ended up in center trying to fight for the dragon, and, and they took that opportunity to, to take the bottom. But, we're going to get a nice push going here. Take out some turrets. And there we go, we get our first dragon, finally, at level 11, six minutes in. Going to send Olaf to go drink at the fountain. Well, not really, but let him run, run back and kind of heal for a second. And here I'm getting a... I kind of lost track of my guys in amongst everything that was going on, unfortunately, and so I lost Balog and Eric rather quickly. Now, neat trick I did learn later on is you can get out of Nazebo's zombie wall by uh, right-clicking and, and being able to charge out of it, so that is something I did learn about Olaf. And am I going to survive? Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Just barely. Don't even hardly need the fountain now. So head back to the top lane so we can start getting some XP again. Since we've... Oh, we're in the center lane, not really uh, getting our XP like we should. And the nice thing about spin to win, uh, and I may be wrong about this, but it seems like it, it stacks from all three. And I, I, I know there were a lot of talks in the beginning that it didn't. Uh, but from what I've been seeing, all three of them together, you get you right-click them into the center of a group, and you hit spin to win, and they deal triple the damage. Okay, so there he's focusing on Eric again. But this time I actually got Eric out of there. Can get him over... Nope, nope, I should have... Nope, I definitely should have sent Eric to the fountain. Yep, yep, that was not smart. There we go. Can we get false dead? Nope, nope. Unfortunately not. Nope. So there we go. I was, uh, ended up kind of, ended up charging at him and, and getting through and taking him out finally there. Now what I do need to get better at, and I still tr struggle with a little bit today, is I need to be able to send, need to get better about sending individuals back to the fountain as needed. Uh, and especially because of the fact that 
one goes back to the fountain, they all get the effect of the fountain. So just all that much better for a fight. Um, false set immediately jumps in here, unfortunately. Oh no, yep. I walked right into that. But I saw like he was running a little low on health and mana. I was like, oh, maybe I could take him. Nope, I could not. I, I overestimated my capability. That's why I, I turned around there and I was like, oh, he's, he's running a little low. Maybe I can take him out here. Not a smart move. So we are working, Terriel and Sylvanas are working to get the, the bottom shrine. I'm gonna come back up top. Let's see, I've got 37,000 siege damage. I'm not doing so great on XP contribution, but that's because I've been staying in one lane. I really haven't been splitting lanes in this particular fight. So we're up against Sylvanas and need to try and get the Sunshine back. Get our region orb. And it's two versus one again. Now I've got the longboat off of cooldown, so this would be a good time to probably grab it. But pop my shield. Oh man, three versus one now. Trying to get out of there. It's like, oh, just, I need health. Really, I should have just popped the longboat, but whatever. That was not smart on my part. I mean, not that the longboat's really going to do great versus three people. It's it's not all that hard to just burn the longboat down, so it can't really hardly do anything anyway. So it could have been a little bit of a waste in that particular scenario. But I could have used it as an escape, maybe. So here we go. We're going to grab it again. Let's see, can we get it? I don't see anybody coming yet. Oh, false dad. I see him heading our way. But they've grabbed the Moonshrine, of course. Oh, Sylvanas is back in there. Can, been kind of going back and forth with her, but Val's now in the fight as well. Really need somebody else up here at the top lane with me. There she goes. She, she poured it in that time. And... Popped her longbow raid to take her out, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to get an Azebo. Maybe? Oh, maybe, I think we're gonna get him. Maybe, yes! Now they got the dragon, unfortunately. So we're gonna need to go help and fight. Yeah, so I was sitting there trying to pop my, uh, pop my Vikings go, 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 and get down there as quickly as possible. Oh, and we all run right into the Innerlands Blast. Yeah, that's that's what cost me Balog. Now I'm running them all three together, I know, and that's that's not necessarily the best way to use the Vikings to their full strength. But in this particular scenario, it was working okay, considering how many people I had to fight early on in the game. don't like to start off games necessarily split up, and I'd rather just split up when need be. Uh, like now, probably would have been a good time to split them up, send Eric or Baylog down to the bottom lane. Eric is usually okay, but he needs a lot, he's a lot higher maintenance uh, if somebody comes in and starts attacking. Whereas Balog can survive for at least a little bit. There we go, see if we can take Falstead out. I think he's gonna get away here. Maybe not. Nice. Last fire that we, that we shot off before we lost vision. Now with Olaf's regen, we can kind of take this down, especially since it was already low on mana, or, or not mana, but ammo. Um, not necessarily the smartest thing normally, though. This is why I grab Viking Horde, right here, because that little survival that I, that how quickly I got my health back up, especially on Olaf, was really, really crucial there. 
Otherwise, he would have been super vulnerable. So now, let's see if we how quickly we can get the shrines. Uh, it's still topping out on siege damage, but not not top XP. But again, that's because I'm not splitting like I can. So we get our level 20 for, and we're gonna take Val out. I think. Olaf's the only one who got hit by the Hinterlands Blast, so that was good. Oh, charge it just a little, little too early, but we got him anyways. So, looks like our dragon's gonna push up the center while I am pushing top. Um, we've got some siege giants pushing the bottom. Uh, Sylvanas is... I'm not really sure what Sylvanas is doing, but she's doing something. There we go. Pop the Longboat Raid, try and take out Nazebo. Sadly, he got in before I could. There we are. We're taking down the keep. Hopefully gonna take down Valor real quick. Yep. And then come in here and hope that we would be able to maybe get a win here, but then I was like, no, I don't think we are. So started trying to get out of there. Not really sure. I was I was I think I was just wanting to clear the wall just in case we needed an escape route. And this was not very smart, because I'm going to lose Eric, because I was like, oh, the dragon's going to go for this. Nope, no he's not, and then I didn't really react quick enough. Lose Olaf, because he's just slow, really. That's all it comes down to. I'm immediately going to send Eric up top so I can keep pushing top, since it's kind of the lane I chose, and I'm going to stick with it. I did find it interesting that I'm, I'm topping out on siege damage, and, and so far in this game, I haven't even been the Dragon Knight yet, so I think I'm doing pretty good on siege damage. Uh, this build works pretty well for siege damage. I'm able to stick around and push for quite a while before I'm needing to draw back out. And here, I'm just trying to clear some waves. Um, Try and take out Nazebo. I don't think I can do it with just Balog, but at least push him back enough. Balog does do damage. Now, Olaf and Eric are alive, so I can start pushing again. Not that I haven't been pushing, I've just kind of been killing minions, I guess. And then we're probably gonna have one more Dragon Knight before the game's over. Uh, and it's going to end quickly. Like I said already, there is a crash, unfortunately, that was very disappointing. Oh! That was just poorly lined up. I need to get Eric out, out of the way of that Hinterlands Blast. So we're gonna turn around and fight here. Grab the Longboat Raid, and we're gonna Kill them both. So now, let's start pushing again. They've got two people down. Yeah, see, they're 109,000 top, topped out on the uh, siege damage. So initials, I was just gonna send Olaf down there, and then I was like, well, we'll just get, head down there right now and hold it for a second. And I'm gonna send Eric and Balog up top to attack Sylvanas. And I was like, oh, well, let's see if they can go ahead and take it back from Sylvanas. And we're just gonna grab the Dragon Knight with Olaf. And we did. So now we could decide to collect them all together. They're gonna take a little while to get there, because they were quite a bit farther off. Now I do have to say, whenever I, as the Lost Vikings, whenever I am in the Dragon Knight, I pretty much ignore my other, whoever's not the Dragon Knight. 
Uh, probably be smart to send him into lane, but at this particular case, I was just like, well, I don't know what to do. So I, I pulled Eric back, got him far enough away that he wasn't gonna necessarily die real quickly. But I was trying to get everybody close by and immediately jump into the longboat raid. And this is where the wonderfulness is about to happen. We've almost got the kill and the game crashes.